Here at Loveway, there are instructors. Some are human, some are horse. My name is Maggie Pippinger. I am an instructor here at Loveway. I have been instructing classes for about eight years now. Loveway is a therapeutic riding center. We serve anyone with a diagnosed disability, so physical, cognitive, or emotional. They come out once a week and they learn how to ride horses. The classroom here is the arena. And while teachers say the lesson is riding a horse, it's also about so much more. They get independence for the first time in many cases. I mean, their self-confidence goes up dramatically throughout. From the first week to the end of the semester, they can go from being totally frightened of every little thing, and then they're walking their horse and leading their horse and doing everything independently on their own. There's commands that students learn that also help their language skills. How do you get your horse to go? What do you tell your horse? Well, on. What do you tell your horse when you want to stop? Whoa. Back in 1973, Loveway was started uh, by the Weatherwax family, Sandy Weatherwax. She and her husband had one child named Lori, and Lori was um, an avid horseback rider and had actually a attended a center up in Michigan. Lori had a dream of becoming an instructor and starting a center um, because her dad was a paraplegic. Um, when she passed away when she was 16, um, Sandy and Gary decided that they wanted to honor her legacy and, and that's how Loveway was born. We are not for profit, so we are certified 501c3. Our main purpose is to serve the special needs um, students, adults of our community. We want to serve anyone that we can that has a diagnosis. So we serve um, local schools. We serve Goshen, Middlebury, Elkhart, um, LaGrange schools. They come out once a week. They learn how to ride. We also have our home-based students that come out with their families or they sign themselves up. It feels fun and it feels free. Like I feel like I'm free. It feels like I can express my feelings to the horse. I think my horse teaches me like how to be like peaceful, like like he's like really calm, like sweet, nice. He's really like I don't know how to express him. He's so awesome. At first it feels scary, but once you get to like when you get used to it it feels like nice. Like you have something to just like hug on that is big like a giant big stuffed um horse but is real. <laughs> While students say they enjoy caring for their horses by brushing them, feeding them, and learning their names, they say there's nothing more rewarding than being high up on their horse and taking in the view. I think that what the animals do is something that uh, humans, we just can't give. There is something therapeutic about just being with an animal that doesn't judge you and they just are here for you each week to, you know, just be your legs through the arena. and. There's nothing like a Loveway therapy horse. They are amazing. I always call our horses angels and, and horse bodies. Um, there's a lot that happens every day in a class. You know, we could have a student having a meltdown and then there's wheelchairs rolling by. Um, so there's a lot that they have to be able to handle. That meltdown. It kind of feels like you're driving a car. It feels like you have some responsibility. I feel like you're kind of up really high so you could like oversee everything. I think they teach you self-control, um, respect, stay calm. It feels like I'm kind of floating in the air, you know, like kind of like flying, but was riding someone, and it feels like, like I have a partner with me. It is um, just wonderful, you know, depending on their different environments at home and different things that might happen throughout the school day. It's wonderful to watch them come to Loveway and get on the horses and see the horses each meet their needs. You know, we have some friends that, you know, come mad or angry to school and you can just kind of see that all leave them when they get on the horse. And other friends, you know, sometimes have trouble with communicating and that horse meets their needs when they need to communicate and learn different ways to share with an animal. Us. Yes, he listens many times, but sometimes I, he gets a bit confused. It's kind of like autism. Like, cheer him up, and, and say good job. Um, give him a little bit of pat, and I'll pet him a little bit right, right on the, little bit on the neck. Our mission is to teach anyone how to ride. We want to get them on the horse, 
um, and learning how to ride independently is the goal. And in turn of, of learning how to ride, they work on so many other skills. They work on core strength, they work on fine and gross motor skills, um, things that aren't necessarily fun to work on, maybe in a classroom, but when they're on a horse, it's exciting because they're riding. Horses are so empathetic to what we're feeling. When you're on a horse's back, if you're scared and tense, they feed off that and they become more intense or they can be or they take it in and they take that intensity out of them. So self-soothing, they relax themselves. They learn not to rock and be all jittery. They control and show their horses control too. Lovely was the dream of a little girl and her mom the founder of this place says the dream has been realized and become so much more. Starting out, you know, we felt uh, we could see so many results right away with the students. And we loved animals so much and we had a lot of animals our whole life. And I knew what they could do. But what they did, what the horses have done for our students is far beyond even that. And it's a wonderful thing.